No, we're in five minutes. Uh, thank you, Colhere, again. Uh, Minister Dunhill, I'm delighted you're here because I think what yourself and myself are happy to talk about something that matters uh, rather than talking about Garrett Brooks the whole time. Uh, as we have probably have been for the for the whole day, but just in, t in relation to the, the motion in front of us um, at Carhirlik, in terms of Age, Age Action Ireland and, uh, and their campaign, I work quite closely with Age Action Ireland in my own constituency. I have a number of um, senior citizens forums. Age Action Ireland attend quite regularly. They tell the, the local people about their care and repair programmes, which are a great benefit to the local people, and they do a lot of very very sound work. However, on this campaign, I believe they got it wrong. I think the, uh, it's, it's unfortunate what's happened with this campaign is it has, as previous speakers said, unnecessarily um, worried people, uh, gotten people frightened. They know how important their travel pass is to them. They know how important their independence is to them, how much they value that independence, and the very, uh, very thought that there was any suggestion at any stage that this would be a changed or, or interfered with scared them. And I think that Age Action Ireland uh, were mistaken in embarking on this campaign because there was never a threat uh, to this uh, scheme. And I think, as other speakers have said, at this juncture, considering what the ministers have said, uh, Minister for Transport, Minister for Social Protection, that there is absolutely no threat to the scheme whatsoever, then I think this debate should probably stop right now. And the motion should be withdrawn and we should go back and talking about something which actually is genuinely important. The concept of, of universality, though, uh, uh, is an important thing to talk about. And I think it's important that we don't forget it, because often we can be uh, quite, com quite complacent about some of the social um, infrastructure that we have in this country and the reasons as to why we have it. And we're having a debate soon about the under sixes uh, free GP care, and people will say that you know, it's not necessary for certain people of a certain income bracket to have social services or social infrastructure or social support, such as something like that. But I think if you live in a republic and believe in, in the essence of a republic, then things like a free travel pass for everybody, or things like free GP care for everybody, or things like free education for everybody is a concept that we cannot lose sight of, um, even in these, uh, these straitened times. I had a meeting with Dublin Bus recently, uh, and they told me that the 75 million they get from the social protection budget would be vital, absolutely vital, uh, to the survival of Dublin Bus as a public uh, service. Uh, public uh, transport uh, NC in this city. So it just would be an absolute nonsense to suggest that that's, that, in, that investment from the uh, Department of Social Protection would be interfered with. I have to touch on Fianna Fáil hypocrisy. I think it's an important point to make because this is a political football being used by, by, by Fianna Fáil to scare people who are genuinely terrified that their travel paths may be interfered with. And I want to remind the House that if this government had followed the four-year plan as laid out by Fianna Fáil when they signed up with the IMF, there would have been 1.7 billion more cuts in the social protection budget. 1.7 billion more. Now, in that scenario, it would have been practically impossible to maintain essential services, such as the travel pass. So I think Fianna Fáil should be grateful that this government did not follow their four-year plan, that the 1.7 billion extra was not taken from the social protection budget, and as a result of which, schemes like the travel pass can be maintained. I want to thank the ministers for their clarity in this regard, because there's no ambiguity. Their language is quite straight. There wasn't any, you know, obfuscation or, or clever use of, uh, of, uh, of tone or language. Ministers from right across the spectrum involved in transport and social protection have been quite categorical in this regard. There is no need for this motion. There is no threat to the travel pass. It is staying. It has stayed for the last three years. It has stayed uh, under the uh, previous administration as well. And there's no point in even talking about this in my, uh, in my view anymore. So the best thing that uh, Fianna Fáil could do in, in uh, to my mind will be to apologize for uh, raising the fears of uh, senior citizens in this state, to apologise for the tone of their motion, to withdraw it immediately on the foot of the categorical statements given uh, by the Minister, also, also, to state, also to state and to thank this government on the basis that for not following their plan, that the social protection budget is much more intact than it would ever have been if Fianna Fáil had still been in power. Uh, thank, you. Thank, thank you, Deputy. Uh,